you think about creation and the cosmos organization and all you've learned in your education, have you ever wondered about the secular interpretation and how your textbooks come up with some of their mindless explanation? I just want to ask the question, when you look at the very inception and the cosmic complexion, like how does chaos end up with absolute perfection without a single exception? And why is there so much deception? Have you ever wondered if we've been fed a misconception? Is there atheistic textbook bias, obsession? And you see the incredible cosmic power, energy, and grandeur that's so obvious even through the eyes of a scientific amateur. Doesn't it show a designer's signature from galactic magnificence to the miniature that makes the textbook writers seem somewhat immature? When you look out there in space and you calculate the improbability of chance and the sheer impossibility of accidentally coming up with design, intelligence, and energy, and has so-called science lost its credibility? And when you calculate the lack of feasibility that brilliance was derived accidentally, could it have all perfectly constructed coincidentally? Really? Can life create itself, or is there something greater, like namely a creator, a cosmic communicator, and through all the evidence, both great and small, a biblical educator? We know the facts and all the evidence of design and immeasurable intelligence and all the choice between mindless happenstance and divine providence. Perhaps you're okay with superstition and the make-believe world of the magician, but when you look at the fossil expedition and the lack of any fossil transition, it doesn't seem to take a genius recognition or the computer print out of a brilliant mathematician to raise a suspicion that we've been brainwashed into a false intellectual position. Yeah, Genesis chapter 1 talks of a creator, a cosmic and microscopic maker that obliterates the theory of Mother Nature with evidence that points to an atheistic breaker giving you the tools of a successful debater and a biblical perspective communicator but who also has a plan to communicate something far greater that allows us to become an eternal life partaker? In the creation of man from the beginning, our gift of life on earth worth living, and for our sins his son he's giving, with love and grace on the cross he's forgiving, and Christ is offered for a new beginning, our entrance into heaven he's permitting, I'm not tripping, are you listening? So tonight, as you look at the scientific proof of the Old Testament, and you calculate at the mere breadth of your life and make an estimate, is it evident that perhaps we've been negligent for a savior that's relevant and historically legitimate? So would you like to go to your spiritual bank tonight and make an investment? Then pray to the Creator through Jesus, the greatest communicator. It's better now than later, because one day every knee shall bow, some regretting that they ever overlooked the now, but tonight you can make a vow to live for him and wow! The feeling deep inside from this moment you decide, with him you can abide, his spirit in your heart to preside, and eternal life to provide, and that my friends can never be denied.